So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create real-time reports in Power BI. And I'm going to do it with an example that you can actually follow along and it's quite fun to do. Couldn't be better. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The International Space Station has an API that allows us, you connect to it, it allows you to see where the station is at any moment. So I have connected to, I'll show you, don't worry, but I have connected to it with using Power BI Desktop. And as you can see, when I click refresh, our beautiful space station moves. It's so cool. So I just saw this in um, If This Then That service that I was using for something else. I thought, oh, I have to try that. And it's super cool. So now, how do you do that? So in order to get this to refresh live and refresh in real time, we cannot do it like this. We have to actually uh, use a real time data set. And this is real time functionality of Power BI. And this is exactly what we're going to do. It's going to be super easy. Don't worry. You can follow along. If I can do it, you can do it for sure. For sure. Okay. So are you ready? I'm going to show you first how I did this because it is so that Actually, I was quite nice to myself because I put here what was the URL for <laughs> where the API is uh, explained. So I could actually, because I did this uh, last week, so I could then follow along while doing this video. So this is, if you point, if you put that address, I would post it down below. You can get the, um, documentation for the API. This is a very simple API, so it is perfect for teaching. So this is what it says. It says, okay, this is the URL that you need, and then this is what it gets returned. If you copy these and paste it in there, you'll see that it returns what it says here. It should return. It returns a the position in latitude and longitude, a timestamp. I have no idea what type of timestamp that is. We will fix it then in flow. And then um, a message saying that, yay, it went across. Cool. Okay. So that's all we need, basically. We don't need anything else. So how do we feed this information into Power BI? Well, Although I'll show you, there are two ways to do it. You can either start in Flow, because we're going to use Flow to actually grab the API and push the information into Power BI. You can use anything else, whatever you want, but Flow is available for everybody. And um, you can either start in Power BI creating the data set, or you can start in Flow creating the flow, whatever you want. So let's start in Power BI first. PowerBI.com, the service, real-time data sets service, sign in. And then you pick the workspace where you want to do this. Um, let's say I'm going to do it on my sales report, <laughs> then delete it. And then you have here, create streaming data set. We're going to pick the API. This is the one that we're going to use. This is if you do, do it through Azure, and this is like a specialized service for Internet of Things. So we're going to use API. Next, what do you want to name your data set? It's going to be where... So I don't have the same name as the other one. Where is the space station? Okay, that's the name of the data set behind the real-time data set, right? Now, what fields are we going to fill in? Now, as you can see, we have four fields. We have latitude, longitude, message, and timestamp. So let's bring those in. We have message. That was a form of text. We had a timestamp. Timestamp that we're going to have as a date time. I'm, I'm actually not going to use the one that the API uses because I Power BI does not understand it. I don't understand it. So we will create our own timestamp. That's fine. And then we have latitude and longitude. Is it with E or without E? Let's check it out. Longitude maybe is American or English English. That's with E, so we keep the E. Okay. And these are going to be numbers. Yeah, they have to be numbers. Okay. And 
this is all you need. If you want to save the data, you pr press on here and it will create a database. And you have the possibility to store 200,000 rows. And then when you hit the limit, the old ones will get dropped, deleted, and the new ones will come in. Okay. Create. You have to remember that it's sales reports and it is called where is space station. Okay. Now let's go into flow and now we're going to connect flow with the um, space station. With the API, I mean, new, automated. I don't like this. I really, really don't like this. I think it makes it more confusing than nothing. So I just skip it. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to schedule this. We're going to say that every, I have a limitation to up to one minute, so I cannot push data in lower frequency than that. So we're going to schedule. So it pulls data from the API every minute. Okay. Schedule every one minute. The next step we have to connect to the API. So we're going to use a HTTP function, HTTP. And then the method is we're going to get data from the API. Where is the URL? The URL, why is it in another tab? Get there. The URL is this one. There you go. And then, um, authentication none and that's basically all you need you don't need anything else what this is going to do is going to do exactly the same thing that we did in here it's going to go to there and then it's going to return this message right exactly the same but it's flow doing it instead of you now we need flow to convert this into fields that we can work with and that is called we need to like read the json and it is called here in the technical language, it is called parse. Who comes up with these words? Parse JSON. That means make JSON readable for, in this case, whatever next step is coming. So to parse the JSON, we're going to first in here, we're going to put the body. The body is the contents of the uh, of the message. So the body is basically this thing. We're going to get that thing. And then here it says, how does the message look like? And look at this, generate from example. I love Flow. The developers behind Flow, I said it a thousand times, give them a prize. It's just absolutely wonderful. Generate from sample. Guess where we have an example? Here we have an example. Fantastic. So we're going to copy these and paste it in there. Clicking done will override. Absolutely override. And it gets that example and it translated into a schema that actually will work with flow and JSON. So it's basically telling you the same, but in another way. Okay. So how to read the schema. And then you have here latitude, longitude, timestamp, blah, blah, blah. How cool is this? It's just. Wonderful. Okay, what are we going to do next? Push the data into Power BI. Power BI. Power BI, Power BI, Power BI. Add roads to a data set. And then we're going to say it is sales reports. And it is where is the space station? Real time data. And then it says, okay. These are the fields that we configure in Power BI. If you remember, message, timestamp. Mm -mm. So we're going to fill this in. Message is going to be message. Timestamp, here's the thing. I don't understand what time, that timestamp is. I don't think that Power BI will do either. So this is what we're going to do. In there, we're going to put an expression that grabs now, right now. Right. So instead of doing whatever they are doing, we say, okay, now it's not exactly the timestamp maybe that this space station is sending, but close, very close. Okay. Latitude, longitude. And guess what? We are done. So cool. So cool. Save. 
And check the fl Normally, this wakes up by itself and say, hey, that's not going to work. So get it right. But this time it's not doing anything. Say, so, ooh, <laughs> it's already succeeded. Awesome. Right. So it, it looks like it's working, right? Is it? Let's go to Power BI and take a look. Done. So here our data set. This is our space station data set. Let's create a report. Where are you loading? What data? <laughs> We're almost out. You hear it. I hear you, baby. Come on. Okay, there we are. Latitude, longitude, map. We will have to change that because the averages don't do not work with the custom map and somewhere in there should be a dot oh back 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 oh then we have already two positions this is position one position two I'll show you so you can see what's going on because we we said that we wanted to have historical data If I put timestamp and then latitude and longitude You will see that we have now two already uh, points. So it is working beautifully You see two points and we, we refresh. I don't know if it's already taking us a minute, but it, we will get another one Okay, so now, what do you do? Report, they don't work in real time. It is a dashboard, so you have to, uh, where, we have to save the report first, where is space station. And then, to exist our, to new dashboard, space station, pin. Oh, look, uh, it is zooming in. We don't want that. So map controls off. Go back, baby. File. Save. I guess it's going to save also in the dashboard, right? Was it? No, it did not. Okay, let's do it again. We go to the report. Space Station, here we have our gorgeous map of the Space Station file, not save. And here we have, no, 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 no. no. Always the same. Come on. What is the other one? Oh, if it, uh, it's so annoying. Every time you click on those things, it's just, it should be like double click or something. So here it is our map. We have to make it a little bit bigger so it gets bigger. And then we have to put here edit details because we want to have Display title and subtitle. Okay, that's fine. But there should be Don't know what it is now, but you see here that the space station is there. Ooh, this so as soon as we put it in there the live uh, Tiles start working basically so cool. So cool. So cool. I you can see mine that I created it like last week and it looks crazy now so this is what is this space station refresh now that's the one i wanted to put and <laughs> look how it so because we are having historical data it is pointing everything and now this is not useful anymore it was useful and beautiful the first round but now it's like what is it i have no idea so i had actually a few questions to the power bi team i put it in the community i haven't got any answer yet so it is, can I change the retention mode? So instead of 200,000, it stores like 1,000. Can it delete rows otherwise? 
so I don't know. So, but but you see how it works. It's super cool and it's very easy. So make sure you give this thing a go. It's going to be super fun for you to do. Hopefully, and let me know how it goes. Show me your results. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.